Hey everybody, this is Minion Soldier and this is Ship Updates. Now, we already know what this show's about, so let's get started. Of course, Crusader Industries Hercules Starlifter. Now, we've discussed this topic in a kind of a roundabout way over the week. We've looked at it from different perspectives and different ideas and different ways that you can kind of think about whether or not you want to purchase this ship but in the end the choice to purchase this ship is entirely yours it's your money it's your decision and i'm not going to tell you how to spend or not spend your money how to what ships to buy what ships not to buy in the end that choice is ultimately yours but i'm going to leave you with a few thoughts when you're looking at this sale in my opinion the C2 Hercules, the base version of this ship, is probably one of the most sensible ships I've seen CIG put out into the game. I'm a big fan of it. Am I an owner of this ship? No. Am I going to be an owner in the future, perhaps for in-game money? Probably. I can definitely see this, but once again, it's going to have to wait until we see how things shake out before I ever make a choice like that. But when we're talking about in-game money, that's kind of disposable money, it doesn't really matter. Now, beyond that, of course, there's the M2 version, which is just a little bit up the scale, about a hundred bucks or so in price from the C2 version, which features more weapons. And it is probably gonna be a much more resilient, militarized version. The price, of course, is reduced cargo capacity. However, it, can still haul the basic two tanks that you want to get onto the ship and deliver them to wherever you want to bring them. And finally, we have the A2 variant, which also includes MOABs and cluster bombs, more of a uh, transport slash weapon of mass destruction. So if that's what you're after, if you're looking at having a ground transport capability or the ability to simply just annihilate the ground, this is probably the ship that you're going to want to buy. Now, the A2 variant is probably one of the ships that I would say it's probably going to raise a few eyebrows. The price tag in the $700 to $600 range is, I think... A little bit high um, I think that the perhaps the pricing maximum should have been in the $500 range rather than the $700 range however if you do find yourself in a situation where a certain area on a moon or a planet needs to be turned into a smoldering parking lot then I can't see many other ships that could probably fill the order as well as this one can. And it still has that ability to deliver tanks to the surface of a planet, though keep in mind it does pay a particularly heavy toll in terms of cargo space to accommodate these <laughs> weapons of mass destruction. <laughs> Though I must state, however, that CIG has, as of yet, not let us know if the inclusion of these weapons will preclude you from installing, say, a hot tub or a fish tank in your attack ship. Now, overall, the ship is solid. It does the job that it's supposed to do. It's very well designed to do the job that it's supposed to do. And that is something that's definitely refreshing and definitely something that a potential owner would want to look for. There are very few issues that you can really look at the ship and say, you know, that might be a problem, this might be a problem. The cockpit view might be a bit of an issue, but since the ship hasn't even been built out yet, it's probably more of something to just be aware of that a ship that is meant to land on the ground or attack targets on the ground might need to actually see the ground. Now, obviously, I've made my feelings known that the C2 of all the versions is perhaps my favorite and the one that I look upon the most favorably, not only because of the greater cargo capacity and the general utility of it for everybody and not just people looking to annihilate a small 
state. <laughs> but another thing that you may want to think about when you're thinking in terms of price and your ambition, it's also Mother's Day this weekend. Don't get your ass kicked over a spaceship. So for all of you who just snap to the realization of oh shit that's this weekend you're welcome and also don't blow your entire budget on a spaceship anyways that's the show for this week i hope you guys enjoyed it see you monday Thank you, thank you for watching. So, so, so if you want to keep up with the latest and greatest in the Star Citizen and Squadron 42's development, please follow, please follow, please follow us on our social media channels. See you soon.